Now one thing I wanted to mention before I forget is after this cools you want to go take like a, a dish scraper and go and scrape out your crock pot and your spatula and anything else that's got your, your bowl that had your soap in it and um, you wouldn't believe it doesn't look like there's much uh, soap in here but when you do it and scrape it out I've actually this was a green tea and cucumber soap that I made the other day and look I actually got a really nice size bar just from it was the same size batch and I had that much so you really don't want to waste it and I will show you real quick just how good this lathers nice and fluffy and it feels so soft like lotion it's really 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 nice look at that look at that lather it's great nothing like this stuff at the store and it feels so soft and that's one of the benefits about um, hot process soap versus cold process soap with cold process soap you have to wait six to eight, eight weeks uh, for you want to wait for all that uh, extra water to evaporate and with hot process soap uh, what's really nice about it is since we've cooked it you've evaporated you know most of all that moisture and you can use it right away and so it's great if you want to just make kind of like a test batch of something and you're not sure how it'll turn out make a hot process version of it and then you can try it right away and see if you like it see if you like the types of oils you put in if you like the feel uh, it's great to be able to make soap just in an afternoon and already have tons of bars that you can use even by that evening hopefully if uh, once it cools you can slice it and it's and it's wonderful 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 so with hot process the best thing to do is maybe to wait about a week really you can use it right away it just depends on how much water cooks out uh, if you wait a week or two it gets a harder bar which will make it last longer but you don't even have to it's completely up to you so all right, now it's the next morning, and I'm ready to uh, slice up my all-natural oatmeal and lavender soap that I showed you how to make. Now we're going to go and take it out of our mold here. Okay, comes out fairly easily. And this actually doesn't even have to go overnight. You can actually cut it sooner than that, but you just really want to wait until it's nice and firm. Okay. And let's put it in our slicer. I got this. Uh, this is a crafter's choice slicer and this is really really nice for getting nice straight slices. I used to try to do it um, just kind of by eyeballing it and as much as I thought my slices were straight when I was done they did not turn out right. So first I'm going to slice off the ends. Gives it a nice look there. to slice my soap here. Kind of sticks a little bit. And this is just kind of what it looks like. You can see the little bits of oats in it. It's a really nice bar. Slice some more. And hot process is such a nice easy method to do. It's just, it's got this nice rustic look to it. It's kind of bumpy on the top. You can smooth it out if you want, but I kind of like it looking like that. And, uh, it's got a much different look than cold process soaps, but you can use it right away. And uh, it's just wonderful to not have to wait so long to, to use your soap. And so I've already got several more bars over here I cut earlier of... Um, this has some of the guest size soaps. You can see how small they are. And some of the regular size bars. And they're a good size bar. Really good. Um, the guest size is nice for when you're traveling or to give as a gift or just kind of to sample it out or give it to friends. Whatever. So. And because I put some of those ground oats in there and not just entirely uh, the colloidal oatmeal, the oat flour, you get some of those nicer bits so you can really see the oats in there. If you just use the, just the oat flour, it's a little harder to see the oats that way. 
makes it really a pretty and simple bar doing it this way.